So hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm down, going down to the London process today because I just thought it'd be interesting to check it out. So off we go. 12 months, what, 14 months since this pandemic started. And you can clearly see that the problem we're seeing, we're having a huge increase in mental health. And that is the real problem. So whatever your views are on this pandemic, wearing a mask in the street is ridiculous. Nice people are out socialising, which is really cool. There's a lot of people out drinking. But yeah, people really need to critically think more. Excuse me mate, can I ask you a question? Why have you got a mask on in the street? Because I'm so used to it, because that's where I work, I have to wear them. Excuse me my friend, can I ask you a quick question? Why are you wearing a mask in the street? Oh, I just uh, don't want you to get ill in case I have it. Hi guys, could I ask you a quick question? Very quick question. So these are for the Palestine. Palestine! very serious out what's going on out there. probably quite an important time that we kind of connect within ourselves more so kind of being around a lot of people can actually be a little bit damaging sometimes I know a lot of my subscribers and people watching this you're well aware of all this stuff so I understand that but there's a lot of people that sleepwalk in this reality and they need to see what's really going on and the priorities to what life is really about this is about your freedom of life and your choices are going down day by day the more you ignore this stuff. So you can choose to ignore it, but it's gonna slap you in the face one day and it ain't gonna be nice when it does that. See, like we need to get our priorities worked out. I mean, we've come out on our days of freedom. We've come out to shop in a load of corporations. That really needs to be questioned, right? We've got, we can shop online 24 hours a day, all this stuff and yet, we come down here on a day of freedom to imprison ourselves even more. Understand that with the measures that have gone on around the world and what's happening around other countries, when you start connecting all the dots of all this, you can see there is something very wrong and it needs to be sorted out. If we don't do it relatively quickly, we're in a very deep mess and that deep mess we won't be able to come out of for a very long time. That was really nice man, people come together, dancing, but well, we need more of it, right? Why are you here today? To stop them vaccinating our children. I don't need the vaccine. I'm not scared of the coronavirus. I've got one chance in 10,000 of dying from it. So I've probably got more chance of dying from the vaccine than I do. And it also, when you look into the, it's not even a vaccine, it's genetic engineering experiment. I don't want to be a part of it. So why are you here today? For our freedoms. So 1% of the population are them, 99% are us. Personally, um, I believe in unity, so this brings people together, it lets us all talk to each other, share our knowledge, our wisdom, and then eventually, hopefully, there'll be enough of us to make a real difference in the world. That's so lovely. personally, along with my friends, hopefully, we're going to create a community, a lot of grid community of like-minded people and get away from the <laughs> free from corruption. We it's need all about to, love. It's all about love. We need to take a, a stand and, and to and to tell people they are they are taking risk. It, it's it's not it's not cool to um, to 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 let people go to to their to peril. And we must speak the truth when we see that there are 
nonsensical things, lies, obviously, because media and the government speak lots of lies. It's our duty to to, to be honest and, and to be straight. I'm playing my part. We all have a part to play. You're done, Who on the next track we're going to play is the last one. I'm not saying that everybody has to have the same belief. But it's important that we understand that uh, we've had globalists on this planet for a very long time and people wanting to control the planet. And that is exactly what's happening now. Uh, we are having a small collective of people with a huge amount of money make decisions on overall countries and governments. So it's very important that we understand that and stop sleepwalking. Thing was, I thought this was a demonstration. I'm, I'm glad I did that today. I went up to see the protest and I wanted to capture the shop inside of it because I just find it so intriguing at the moment. People spend a lot of time shopping unnecessarily. The first place people go are the shops. Maybe we could be thinking of some other constructive things to do. Maybe we could actually think of some actions we could take within ourselves to make the world a better place. Maybe it isn't the best time to consume right now. The social distancing, you would have thought people might have got it, got that, but, you know, I mean, it's millions, I don't know the exact amount, but we were talking, I, I've seen it all over London, you know, stickers, marks on the floor. Man, it would have cost businesses to do as well, it's shocking. And yet people just don't question that. We had so much science providing evidence of what this actual virus was, and yet people just let it be. Just swallowed it. And I, th I think the money's a lot to do with that. I keep people happy and content, so then they, they didn't question things. I feel like we've been completely betrayed, and there seems to be half the society that sees it and half that doesn't. Maybe that was the aim of all this, and maybe it was, sorry mate, go for it, thank you. Maybe this was the aim for all this, and maybe it was just to divide society. It's worked. Um, you know, I think people have, I think people have started waking up again now. But you know, I, I can see it everywhere. People are still completely absorbed in wearing the mask. It's almost become a fashion statement for some younger generations, and it shocks me. It shocks me that people don't see that, but. You know, maybe that's part of our evolution. Maybe we see it all at different times. Now, I'm not saying everybody has the same belief. But it does worry me that people are walking around with masks on their face when, I mean, that's not really going to protect anything, is it? I don't get how a piece of cloth is going to help people, but it helps people feel safer, I suppose. I'm going to see if I can get someone, because I really want to see if I can get someone. I like getting logic out of these situations and I get logic by asking people. Could I ask you a quick question on camera? <laughs> just regarding the mask. What, why are you wearing a mask in the street? Just out of interest. Why? I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just, very intrigued. Yeah, I, I, no, 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 just I'm going to the station. What I find so interesting about this time is the way we're going back to normality and people just kind of treat in this last year, 14 months as if kind of not a lot's happened. But yeah, I think we need to question a lot more. I think we need to ask ourselves a lot more questions about the world we're living in. And I think this is a great time to kind of open them ideas up and apply them to maybe a new form of society or something new. So we need to have a change. This is very, very obvious from what's happened over the last year. Just with so many unanswered questions and people that are questioning it are almost getting deemed out to be something else or anti this, anti that, that is really not the case. We have had a takeover and uh, unfortunately a lot of people have been brainwashed. It's just like the whole of society just fell back to sleep as soon as this thing started reopening. I'm currently working on the third series that will be coming out very soon. It's all going brilliantly, got great locations, great characters coming in. Please join the Patreon and thank you very much for sharing, liking and all the lovely stuff you guys do. Yeah, I'll be doing another vlog as well probably in the next couple of weeks of the whole situation and kind of just doing the whole pan of what's what it's like returning back to normality. Can I ask you a question? 
Oh, sorry, sorry. Why are you wearing masks on the street? Uh, I haven't got space in my pocket. <laughs> right. Until next week. See you then. Thank you.